Okay, so welcome back. So this will be our second session and discussions for our registered master electrician review. So at this moment or today we will be talking about um, atomic theory. So we will try to link uh, the connection between atoms and electricity. Okay, so. This will be a short video because we will only be talking about definition of terms and concepts but some of these terms and concepts uh, will also appear on the exam okay so let's begin so our first definition is atom so atom is the smallest particle of an element that contains all the properties of the element so atom is the smallest particle of an element, yun yung pinaka maliit na parte ng isang element. So, we will try to define also the structure of an atom. So, this is the figure of an atom. So, this figure was um, conceptualized by um, Neil Bohr and Ernest Rutherford as you learned in the previous topic. So, Inside or in the center of the of the atom is the nucleus. So this is called the nucleus. So susulata natin yan. So ang tawag dito itong center na to ang tawag jan is the nucleus. So there are three particles in an atom. So we have the proton, which is on which is located in the nucleus. We have the neutron, can also be found in the um, nucleus, and the electron, which is orbiting around the nucleus. So, in terms of charge, so proton is a particle with a positive electrical charge. So, proton is positive. Neut uh, electron is a particle with a negative electrical charge charge so electron is negative and neutron is a particle with no electrical charge so neutron is neutral okay so we have the definition of nucleus the center of the atom that contains the proton and the neutron so if you're going back to our figure so basically uh, the nucleus contains the neutron and the proton. So, yung nucleus, yung loob niyan, or ang laman niyan, or ang composition ng uh, nucleus is proton and neutron. Yung electron ay nasa labas lang or nag-orbit lang sa nucleus. Then, matter. So, matter is any substance that has weight and occupies space. So, that is very basic definition na alaman natin yan sa ating elementary days. So, we have also Molecule, the smallest particle of matter which, re which retains all of the properties of the original substance. So, molecule is the smallest particle of matter. So, the smallest particle of matter is molecule. So, an example of a, or of, of a molecule is a for example, the molecule of water is H2O. So, what does it mean? So, ang tubig or water contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So, basically, this is one molecule. So this is one molecule of water. And compound is a substance whose molecule contains two or more elements. So, water itself is a compound. So, that's why when we say an example of a compound is also H2O. So, compound forms a molecule. So, H2O itself, ang H2O mismo is an example of a compound. Then we have elements. So elements is a substance 
that cannot be broken down by chemical means. So, it is an independent substance that cannot be broken down by chemical means. So, for example, of uh, an example of an element is oxygen. So, oxygen, if we are going to break down oxygen, so we need to have uh, maybe nuclear fusion or nuclear fusion. So, if we are going to break down, so if uh, gawin natin is ihiwalay natin talaga ang oxygen, so we are going to break down the atom itself. So, if those type of substance cannot be broken down by chemical means, so usually breaking down of elements is by nuclear means, so by using nuclear apparatus or nuclear energy. So, those types of substance are elements. So, ano pag sa elements? We have hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon. So, lahat nung nakikita sa periodic table, those are elements. Now, when elements combine, they form compound. And when compounds combine, they form a molecule. And when and a group of molecule will um, will be the parts of a matter. Okay, so if gagawa natin yan ng ano, breakdown, so mula sa matter, so gawa natin dito, matter, ibibreakdown natin yan into single molecule. So, it's component molecule. Wherein, the component molecule will is also a compound. So, it can be broken down into single compound. At pag winnect natin yung compound, bawat compound will have its own unique element. No? Mayroon sariling element. And we further break down element, we're going to know to dig down deeper the parts of the element. Each element is consists of similar atom. So, yan yung breakdown ng matter papunta sa atoms. Okay, so atomic number, the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom and which is also equal to the number of electrons which orbits the atom. So, yan yung atomic number. So, the, we have also mass number, the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So, when it comes also to uh, charge and being charged, we have also an ion. So, that is a negatively charged ion. Then, we have neutral atom, an atom with an equal number of protons and electrons. So, a neutral atom is um, equal number of protons and electrons. So, equal yung number ng protons at electrons nila. Then, free electrons. So, also known as valence electrons. So, this can be also known as valence. No? Valence electrons. So, electrons in the outer shell of an atom that can be easily moved from one atom to another. So, raise natin itong isang O. Pasensya na po sa wrong spelling. So, it can be easily uh, moved from one atom to another. So, if we're going back to our picture of an atom, ito. So, yung atom na nasa pinakadulo, according to um, atomic theory, Ito yung atom na madaling matransfer from another atom. Ang tawag dyan is free electron or the valence electron. So, ano ang ibig sabihin ng pag nating, ano ang importance ng valence electron? Okay. So, if this atom is a valence atom, if this electron is a valence electron, then it can be easily moved. Then the movement of those electron from another atom to another atom to another atom, that is now what we called as electricity. 
So that is basically the reason why we are trying to understand the structure of an atom in order for us to understand the nature of electricity. So, ang electricity is ang flow ng mga electrons. So, the valence electrons because it is loosely connected or it can be moved easily from one atom to another, those electrons are the one flowing and their charge is negative. So that is what the uh, what is the uh, that is the nature of electricity. So kaya may electricity dahil may electron at specifically dahil may valence electron. Okay? So characteristics of atomic particles. So ano yung mga characteristics ng mga parts ng atom? So we have proton positive charge and this is the mass of a um, proton so which is 1.672 times 10 to the power of negative 27 uh, kilograms or uh, 26 uh, 0 point 26 na 0 bago dumating sa 1 so ganun ka gaan ang proton mas magaan pa ang electron so ang charge niya ay negative pero 0 point, tapos 30 na 0 bago mag 9. Kaya 30 yan kasi yung 1 digit niyan is for your 9. So that is, the, uh, this types of number is called scientific notation. And maybe I will be going to discuss this one. Uh, maglagay lang tayo ng isang special na uh, discussion about this. Then neutron, no charge. Then it's um, its weight or mass is approximately equal to a proton. So, equal sila. Okay. So, we will proceed to insulator and conductor. So, kasi alam na natin yung um, uh, theory ng atoms. So, kung ano yung structure niya. So, ngayon, ating alamin kung anong kinalaman ng atoms at ng valence electrons sa pag sa material na insulator at conductor. So conductor, it is a substance or a material that has many valence or free electrons. So what does it mean if it has many valence or free electrons? Pag ganun ang isang substance, meaning its electrons can easily be moved. And if electrons is, can easily be moved, then it will allow the flow of electricity. And therefore, substance having many valence or free electrons are called conductors. So, kaya may conductor ay dahil sila yung mga material na maraming valence electrons. Example of that is brass, copper, silver, gold, mercury, and water. So, these substances allows the flow of electricity. Now we will go to insulator. No? Any substance, substance that contains few free electrons. So there is no such thing as an element that has no free electrons except for the noble um, elements, no? the noble gases. So those they are neutral atoms in which the number of electrons is equal also to the number of protons. So, it is um, hard for them or it is hard uh, for them na, ang, na makapag flow doon ito or to do the transfer of atoms of, of electrons from one atom of that same substance to another. But, usually, insulators itself has few free electrons. But they require much energy in order for their electrons to move from one atom to another. Later on, we will find out what is that energy needed. So, if you have two atoms, for example, this is your atom, this is your electron here, another atom, and this is your electron here, you need force. 
So you need to push this one in order for it to be transferred to another um, atom. Then this one will also be transferred into another atom. So just put A here for atom. Atom 1, atom 2, and atom 3. So you will need force. And force will be uh, will be applied to it if we have an energy applied to this electron. And later on, we will know what is that energy when we are going to discuss electrical quantities. So, electron flow. So, like I said, uh, way back on our first video, so, sa ating una video, sinabi ko na si Benjamin Franklin, sinabi niya na ang electron is moving from positive to negative terminal. So, we will now know that he is wrong because the movement of electron is from negative to positive or from a negative ion to a positive ion. So, why is that? So, if we are going, if we are going to back, go back to uh, Coulomb's law that like charges repel and unlike charges attracts. So, if the one that can only be moved is the negative electron, negative, so we, we, uh, we usually put E here, so negative electron, and you have an atom which lacks electron, therefore it is a positive atom. So, this negative one will flow to the positive atom. So, the flow itself is from negative to positive. And that is the electron flow. So, there are two types of electron flow in electrical engineering. The first is the um, conventional flow, which is from negative to positive. And the other is the uh, Franklin flow or the engineering flow which is um, used only for uh, electrical circuit analysis. So the electron flow, the conventional flow is from negative to positive but if we are going to analyze circuit we will use the flow which is from positive to negative in order for our analysis to be much simpler. So, electron flow for electrical materials. So, conductors allow the flow of electrons. Insulator limits the flow of electrons. So, atomic structure of common elements. So, we have copper, aluminum, germanium. So, these elements are usually conductors. So, the number of electrons, 29. The number of protons is 29. The number of neutrons is 34. Valence electron is 1. So, aluminum, 13 electrons, 13 protons, 14 neutrons, and with a valence electrons of 3. And germanium, which is a semiconductor. So, for, e for electronics, germanium and silicon are very useful because they are semiconductors. So, if you are asking what is a semiconductor, so a semiconductor is a type of material that became, uh, that will become a conductor in certain voltages and will become an insulator in certain voltages. So if it's if it is much colder then the material will become a conductor. If the temperature is much higher then the material will become an insulator. So though that is a semiconductor. So it has a 32 pair of electrons for germanium, 32 also is the protons 41 is the neutrons and 4 is the total number of valence electrons. Okay, so next time we'll be discussing about electrical quantities. And I hope um, you will you learn something from this, this discussion. Feel free to comment below our Google Classroom if I ever upload, if ever I will be finishing, uh, I will will be finishing uploading this video you can also comment down below in the youtube uh, youtube video and also thank you for listening thank you for watching and always in order for us to pass the exam keep 
study.